Let's see. Was... Let's see if Andy Pants has uh has stepped up his rhetoric. Some of you younger guys really need to hear this right now, and I know a lot of you older guys already know this. You're 41. But I'm gonna say it anyway okay. because it's an absolutely essential message. Uh, games are getting gay now. In the absolute clown world that we live in right now, you're a man. You're not a woman. You're not gay. What? You're not trans. You're not bisexual. You're not pansexual. You're a what? work not, a you're real. Not, wait, 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 wait. What the fuck does that have to do with being a man? You, gay people are still men. Like, why did it go immediately to sexuality? Job. Get around. Is this, is this even? Do manual labor. This is just. Do something difficult. I promise any gender confusion leads Do something difficult, my brother in Christ, you make YouTube videos. You make YouTube slop videos. By your own definition, you're not hitting this, bro. Leaves your body the moment you lift some heavy weight. Scientifically, it increases your testosterone. There are only two genders and you're the man one, so act like one. You were made to conquer. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. To rule. Jesus Christ. To shit up. You were made to do the difficult thing. Again, you, were, you are a YouTuber. You were made to do the hard thing. You were made to get married. You were made to have kids. You were made to work hard enough to support a family and sit on a park bench while you watch your kids play one day. You were do you have any of this? In a hospital bed one day surrounded by your loved ones. You can't have loved ones if you never have kids. You were yes. Uh, you know, it's one thing he mentioned that you shouldn't have. You didn't mention about like friends. You were made to be brave. You were made to be loyal. No friends. And in the very bottom of you, I know these things exist in you. When somebody needs to be brave enough to run headlong into danger and possibly get killed, do they send a woman? Do they send a lady boy? No, they send a man. When they need someone to explore. Oh my God, Andy, you are trying so fucking hard, my guy. Children. No wait, 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 what? Dangerous conditions imaginable. Spend 40 days at sea catching rare sea life in the most dangerous conditions imaginable. Did they send somebody who is confused about their sexuality? No, they send a man. Women are meant to be at home in a safe and comfortable environment <laughs> so that they can You are so bad at this. I'm 41 too, converted to Christ. I'm married, I'm a cop, and you watch this. If my wife drives because she gets car sick, makes me sus and gay what the fuck a lot of incels who only view women as submissive here not even has to be like that oh my god this shit is so tiring oh my god dude this is he's trying to <laughs> it's like a parody of black but he's actually completely serious oh my god this is is this just the video to go out into the rain and the cold and the mud to bring home money to let that home happen the number one most important thing in your life is to have a relationship with god oh fuck. Two, shut the fuck every up dude road in every country was built by men every bridge and skyscraper was built by men that's not true every car every vehicle every machine was designed by a man does he not does he not remember what happened when like the women went to the factories and here's the thing i need you guys to realize this is your world. So why are we acting like we don't run this shit? Why have we allowed liberal women and in DEI initiatives to infect the workplace? Why have we continued to allow gay femboy trash in video games? Oh my God, why dude. Why have we continued? Yeah, dude. Fucking, we're manly men. We're meant to conquer. We go to war. We should be mad about video games. That's what real men are mad about. That's what real men, that's the real issues men should be focusing on. Why are we allowing black people and gay people and women in video games when we used to have black people and gay people and women in video games? <laughs> Half-Life 2, because Alex Vance doesn't exist. Meta Gear Solid 3. This, Andy, this is how I know you're bad at this shit. This is how I know that you're bad at this shit. Because you know who was in Metal Gear Solid 3? Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room.
What are you, fucking gay? <laughs> like, that's not, you know, I wouldn't say like a gay you want to use for masculinity, uh, for your example. And also, yeah, you have Metal Gear Solid 3, the big leader was Big Boss, who's a woman. Like, it's, this is so stupid. This is so fucking stupid. To buy and allow woke video games when everybody knows that the golden age of video games is when they were masculine 20 years ago. There's two big reasons for all of this. 20 years ago in the game, Number one, we've been betrayed by our own. We have been betrayed by gay beta cuck liberal men. Do not trust men who won't look you in the eyes. Beta the cuck fucking dude? Men. The dude is... Oh my god, dude. The big Lebowski is, uh, is a beta cuck? Do not trust men who won't look you in the eyes. If a guy ever tells you he thinks men and women should always split the check... What about uh, men who have to use AI to create images of other men? How's that? How, how, what level is that? Man. If a guy ever tells you he thinks it's the woman's job to lead the household just as much as the man, he's a beta. If a guy ever lets his wife drive, he is sus. Wow. The problem is when we give these men, these beta men, positions of power and follow them rather than letting masculinity lead. I this is, this is. Staff the other day. <laughs> Did you know that 90% of the women around the world, regardless of their religion, culture, or color, 90% of women around the world agree that men should plan the first date? Ooh, that's an interesting stat. Oh, we're going to Quora? So I just know what, what 90% of women want men to plan the first date? Let's see where he gets his data from. Is it true? This is from Quora. There's n there's nothing here. Did he just get it from Quora? Experience of men and women on Tinder. Women match with 30% of those they like, while men match with less than 2%. This is nothing. This is junk data. So he he's just pulling data out of his ass. What a what a surprise. What a shock. Do you know why this is? It's because whether you believe in God or not, you know in your heart that men are made to lead and women are made to follow. Why are you using the her? Our culture is the complete dumpster fire that it is today is because masculinity is getting called toxic right now. You couldn't find a picture for black guys who use fucking AI? Femininity is prized in our culture today. Confusion gets a medal. Being trans is prized and celebrated. Being gay is prized and celebrated. Being weird gets you a pat on the back. None of this stuff is good. None of it should be celebrated. Uh, uh, being trans gets you celebrated? Uh, uh anti-trans laws 2024. There has been 658 bills created dealing with the restriction of rights for trans people granted a lot of them failed but the fact that 658 bills were made specifically for trans people to deny them access to basic health care education recognition the right to public exist uh, tells me maybe that's not so true maybe maybe that's not true actually like maybe that's not actually real me thinks in fact it's wrong random fact did you know the bible commands men to act like men and women to act like women pretty random fact did you know that the bible has multiple writers and interpretation and is not real cool the patriarchy was good we live in a matriarchy now and people wonder why everything we live in a matriarchy now we live in a matriarchy now Actually, patriarchy doesn't literally mean father's rule. It means rule of the father. Dumbass. But um, if we live in a matriarchy, why is Kamala Harris trying to become the first woman president? We live in a matriarchy. Shouldn't that have been the norm? Shouldn't Biden have been then uh, praised for being one of the few men to make it that high? Hey, real quick, let's look at the top uh, CEOs. Just the top CEOs in America. 
Okay. Oprah Winfrey's not really... Okay, fine. So, out of this list right here, Linda Yaccarino just got her position recently. So, just from this list right here, we have one, two, three, four, four women, five women, five women. Oh, sorry, six women. I didn't see Mary. Six women. How many men do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, Henry Ford. Okay, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine men on this list and less than six women. Elon Musk, Larry Ellison, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos. How far do we get to a woman? Uh, uh, uh. So 18th is Alice Walton, which is obviously Walmart. Then 20th. So we seem to be grouping them pretty close together. And then there's, so you go from 18th, 20, and then the next one's in the 31st position. And then 39th. And then 51st. Granted, I think boners are a plague on society, but to say that we live in a matriarchy when women don't even make up the largest in terms of like the amount of CEOs or wealth or power is fucking insane. You don't know what words mean, Andy. Thing is trash now. It's time to be a man. We need masculine men. Seek out role models. Seek out dads. Seek out men who don't drive Priuses. Seek out men okay. who lay down their lives for their families and their friends. You do you do none of this though. Andy, you're a YouTuber. A 41-year-old man. Where's your legacy? Do you have a wife? Do you have you kids? Have live. And I want to close here by giving you just a couple other random thoughts. Number 1, if you're under 18 and addicted to video games, what the heck are you doing? Motherfucker, you run a gaming channel. They're probably listening to you right now. Get out of the house, dude. You're in the prime of your life. It's time to go do something. Get the prime life is being 18. Go do something with your life. I'm on video games now because I'm 41. I'm married and I have a kid and I'm stuck at the house. Can't really do anything else. But, dude, if you're. No, 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 Andy. You can't do that. You play games because you have no choice? Are you fucking kidding me? You're being held by gunpoint by someone who's making you, who's forcing you to play video games? I play games because I have no choice at home taking care of my family. Are you taking care of your family or are you playing games? Are you taking care of your family or are you playing video games, Andy? You're saying you have no choice in the matter. So why should anyone listen to you? Don't be addicted to video games. I myself am completely addicted. I have no choice. I have to do it. If I don't do it, they're going to murder my family. Like, what the fuck? You're 18 and stuck at the house addicted to video games? Like, dude, if you're 18, you are in the prime of your life. It's time to get out there and do something. And also, why are you shaming the 18-year-old when you're fucking 41 and you're saying you can't do this shit? You're, you're 41 and you're saying, 18, you can't be addicted to video games, but at 41 with a family, you can be? That's more pathetic. That is more pathetic. An 18 year old has far less responsibilities than a 41 year old married man with a ch child. And you're saying that you have to play video games. Number two, if you're addicted to porn, stop it. Porn makes you weak. It breaks your spirit. It's disgusting. It makes you pay for loose women online who don't deserve your money. Porn saps you of your strength. Number three, if you're over 18 still living at home, get out of there, dude. It's time to grow up. You need to have your own place. You need to make your own way. God made you yeah, to dude. conquer and be a badass. Yeah, dude, because it's so easy to just, you're over 18, so you're 19, get out, have a job, have an apartment, have credit to get to that apartment, uh, have a high paying job, but you're still in school, but it's easy because you're over 18. You got to get out, dude. Take it from Andy, the 41 year old who can't stop playing video games. You will never be a badass living at home with mom and dad. Number four, if you're single, 
ask that girl out. Women are not immoral. You've just been looking at women on the internet and you think that they're all like that. If you live in a small town or you go to church, I guarantee you will find a trap. This is right such bad easily, advice. But most of them are. So you're saying women aren't immoral. You just said that there's loose women on the internet, but you're also telling them don't be on the internet. If you live in a small town or church, so if you have one of two options, go talk to them. They're definitely going to be traditional. Like, sh oh my God, dude. On Instagram, flaunting their bodies. I met my trad wife at church. She takes care of our baby and makes me food. It's great. They exist. Yes, that's what that's all women are good for taking care of you making you food and taking care of the baby. That's all they're good for. That's all they're good for. Uh, number six, if you're married, you probably don't need any advice from me. Keep grinding, brother. Find some men to get around to share what's going on. Only 18 more years and we're free. <laughs> Children are the greatest blessing in this this life. So have lots of them Find free. No, 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 Find no, no, no. To get around to share what's going on. Only 18 more years and we're free. <laughs> Children are the greatest blessing in this this life, so have lots of them. So only 18 years and you're free, meaning legally responsible for children, but also say they're the greatest blessing, so have more of them. Yet you only have one, Andy. What's going on? Find out what they're teaching your kids at school and make sure it agrees with your values. You've probably heard the story of Adam and Eve, and I like this quote about that. Adam remains silent when he should have spoken. Our society is falling apart because dads quit speaking, because dads are no longer present because dads are sitting on YouTube on their phones watching videos while their families fall apart. Again, motherfucker, you are a YouTuber. You are that person. You just said you have to play video games at 41. Yet that's you. You are not these guys. To be a father is to aggressively care about your family. Number seven, if you don't know what to do with your life, Bro, just do something. You're young. Just try something, man. The absolute bro, worst. Bro, if you don't want to do with your life, just do something. Hey, if you're if you're tired, just get energy. If you're if you're hungry, just eat. Hey, uh, rule number twenty seven. If you're broke, just get money. It's easy, guys. Just just get money. If you're broke, get money. If you're hurt, heal worst you can do is never leave the house and just be a turd and play video games all day i hope your parents kick you out if you live like that all right boys so in closing just remember society hates us right now but we oh, dude you're such a fucking bitch i'm sorry <laughs> like your entire persona is so forced and fake hey just remember society hates us um but we run society remember i need you to be angry and upset all the time so i can make money off of you so keep that in mind okay that society hates us but we run everything but society hates us but we're the reason why things are good but society hates us but we're strong men but we live in a matriarchy so don't forget that don't and don't analyze my thoughts and my what i'm saying don't listen to the fact that I'm 41 years old telling you that you shouldn't be playing video games, but I'm saying that I have no choice but to play video games because I'm married. As if marriage does not have its own responsibilities. Oh, I got married because I'll just sit at home and play video games all day. My wife makes me a sandwich and raises my child. Oh, wish I could do something like have friends. Have you noticed how he never mentions making relationships with people like friends? He doesn't talk about having a strong family unit. He just talks about getting married. He doesn't talk about talks what like it takes to maintain relationships or you know have any of that shit. He just talks about get married, have kids. That's a fulfilling life for a man. This is the ideal thing he doesn't even ad adhere to because he doesn't live like this. And he isn't a fucking fireman or a guy in the military running out in danger. He's a 41 year old YouTuber who pivoted to grifting. And after he got blown the fuck out by act, man is putting out videos like this. Like this is who he is. <laughs> what a goddamn dude. Like, holy shit. Holy shit. Like, these are the people he's speaking to. I'm 45 years old. Crap. My marriage is crap. Passive aggressive, nagging woman, never happy with how much I provide, never touches a book, doesn't know a pinch about philosophy, martial arts, or history, has openly told me she won't be submissive nor obedient in a wife way, et cetera, et cetera. And in the process of separation, told her I will leave to her the house, I leave the house when my daughter goes to college. 
I found a woman who masked fine, pretty, intellectual, loving, and treated me well until she changed and turned into turned into BPD. Oh crap. I guess life happened. Ha ha ha. I guess. What the fuck does this even mean? It means nothing. And also, you married someone who never touched a book, doesn't know about philosophy, martial arts, or history, but that's the kind of person Andy tells you to marry. A trad wife who wouldn't know about philosophy or reads. I ain't like that because she's too busy in the kitchen, barefoot, making you cereal from scratch. I'm confused why this woman talk about masculinity. Corny as fuck, go outside, little bro. Like, yeah, dude, like, I'm 32, single, man. I live alone, working a well-paying full-time job, and I have no intentions of whatsoever to get married and have a wife and kids. Why would I want to enslavement when I could enjoy my life like I want to instead of pouring my energy into something I have no desire of having? I'm not going to say marriage is enslavement, but other than that, yeah, if you don't want to have kids, you don't have to. That's making you less of a man. That's making you less of a person. Like, having children does not make you a full person or anything like that. Just something we do. And I don't know if you want to do that. Like, this is just a bunch of sad men in the comment section. Like, a bunch of sad men. Like... I'm 22 and I'm stuck and, and I cannot find a single job for two years despite my amazing grades. I feel like my life's going nowhere. This isn't because you're not masculine. This is because the job market fucking sucks and they have made fake job positions. This is because of capitalism, my friend. 41 and pissing away his life in a virtual with an estrogen filled voice. The people here hate you. Like... <laughs> My man probably wouldn't last a day in World War II. Meanwhile, you have 50-year-old World War II veterans running to battle with Claymore sword, bows and arrow. Like, oh my god. Sus, bro. Yeah, it's just like, these are... Just like, and the thing is, too, is he tries so fucking hard. He tries so fucking hard to be like this alpha male. This is what Andy looks like. This is what he looks like. That's why he always has his face covered. Because this is what he looks like. Wait, what is this? Was this his old? Was this him? Oh, Andy. Oh, Andy. This was you in 2022? This was you in 2022? Ain't no way. You're talking about both masculinity and shit. When you were out here doing this shit, nigga. console fanboys, Xbox fanboy, when you were doing console fucking trash wars, PlayStation games, nigga, what? trash PlayStation game. You were adult. This was six months ago, so you were still in your forties. You still had a kid, and you're still presumably married. You were doing this shit at age forty-one. You were console warring at age. Fucking 41 and you're out here telling people that we have to be masculine we're we're meant to conquer we're meant to we're meant to destroy we're hunters like get absolutely fucked man get absolutely fucked